Hi everyone, my name is Adrian and I'm going to show you how to start your first worm bin in Vermicomposting 101. Now I'm going to show you what we're going to need for doing our first worm bin. You don't have to have exactly what I have, but you want to get things that are similar. Um, it doesn't have to be the exact same size of a bin or certain materials, I'll say what else you're gonna be able to use if you don't wanna use that. All right, so here's our first one. All right, so the first thing we need is an actual bin. So this right here is from the big box stores. Uh, I believe this one is 12 gallons. It's a 12 gallon container. As this goes on, it's gonna get heavy with all the worm castings building up in this over the next couple of months. The next thing we're gonna need is some bedding. Now, one of the beddings I'm gonna use is uh, shredded paper. So this is, a lot of this is newspapers or stuff you get in the mail, you just shred this up. I use the shredder, but if you don't have one, you can just cut it up or rip it up. You just want a couple of inches for the bottom. All right, the next thing we're gonna use is peat moss. Uh, I like using peat moss. It holds water well. It gives the worms somewhere to go when they're not eating food, and it'll help keep water in because worms like a nice damp bin. All right, if you don't wanna use peat moss, or it's not easily available, um, Coco Choir works really well. You will want to rinse it out though, because typically Coco Choir has quite a bit of salt in it. You're gonna need water in order to hydrate the pea moss or Coco Choir that you use. I also have a little spray bottle, which makes it easier for later on. This one says fertilizer, but it's just plain water in it today. You're also gonna need food scraps. Uh, in here, I have some coffee grounds I got from a coffee shop. I have a banana peel, a peach, lettuce, and eggshell. The eggshell, you wanna make sure you break that up into really small, uh, almost a powder for them to eat. So now we need uh, a spoon or a stick, you're gonna need something to mix the uh, peat moss or the cocoa choir with the water, and you're going to need hot water as well. Uh, I have some water boiling. I want to use that to kill off any of the fungus gnats or any other bugs that may have hitchhiked their way into the peat moss um, because I'm keeping this inside my house all right, and then the last thing you will need is red wigglers. All right, so I have my pot of hot water here. I'm gonna set that off to the side. And then I have my peat moss in the bucket. All right, so I'm just gonna start to pour some of it in, not all of it. Um, I don't want to flood all of this with too much water for later on, but I do want enough to kill off anything that's in there. And this is why you want the spoon. You don't want to mix this with your hands. It's very hot. I'm gonna add just this last little bit in and I'm gonna let this sit for five to 15 minutes or so just to kill off whatever might possibly be in there. All right, that's mixed. I'm gonna set this to the side and uh, then we can start on the next step for getting our bin ready. So I have my bin, it's nice and clean, uh, but what we wanna do is put paper on the very bottom because uh, it creates a nice bed for the worms to go to 
when maybe you first add food, they like the high carbon. So it's always a good idea to put a carbon layer down. And for this bin, it's going to be the shredded paper. All right, now this is where that bucket of water that we had earlier is gonna come into play. So I'm gonna just take a handful, put it in the bottom. A little bit more. And then I'm just gonna pour some of the water into here. If you add too much, that's all right. Just add in more paper. All right, so we now have our paper all wet down and at the very bottom, I would say it's about an inch or so thick which will work out perfect for them. All right, so now that the uh, peat moss has been sitting for a while, it's starting to cool down to be able to handle it. So what I'm gonna do is take that, and then I'm going to mix in some of the coffee grounds I have. I wanna mix that into the whole thing, and then we'll put that on top of the bin. Now I'm going to add it into the main bin where the worms are going to be. That looks good. That's a good base for the worms. And now I'm going to grab the rest of the food and put it in the bin. And then I'm just gonna uh, push just a little bit of the cocoa coir or peat moss right over top of it. All right, so that's the base. Uh, now for the fun part, we're gonna go get our red wigglers and put them in. All right, so here's my old bin. As you can see, it's definitely too small. Now what they're in right now hasn't fully broken down. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this into the whole bin as well. All right, and then the last thing I'm gonna do um, is put a piece of cardboard over the top. Maybe I missed it once a week. All right, that's it. All right, thank you for watching my video on how to start your worm bin. Uh, I hope it was helpful. And if you wanna see more or have any questions, something I missed, uh, write them down in the comments and let me know.